This is Inside Heavy. Vivian Kim is an A-list guitarist in the world of heavy metal and hard rock. He's been in Dio, White Snake, and for the last 20 years, Def Leppard. Vivian has called in to Inside Heavy to talk about a new project he has worked on entitled Rock the Cradle. He's also going to tell us all about the new Def Leppard live album coming out on Frontiers Records next month. And we're going to talk a little bit about Dio. So stay where you're at. Guitar great Vivian Campbell joins us when we return. Attention all bands and merchandise vendors. Get international exposure for your bands or merchandise at InsideHeavy.com. Hungry music fans. Inside Heavy is one of the fastest growing metal news sites on the planet. The world is crawling all over Inside Heavy. And now, for as low as $10 a month, they can see your band. So what are you waiting for? Go to InsideHeavy.com and start your ad campaign today. We've got the traffic. We'll put their eyes on you. We are back with Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard, right here on Inside Heavy, the world's inside source to heavy metal and hard rock. We got guitar great Vivian Campbell on the line with us from Def Leppard. Vivian, welcome to Inside Heavy. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. We're going to talk about some Def Leppard news. One of them is kind of an odd project you found yourself involved in playing some guitar called Rock the Cradle, Dreaming with Def Leppard. It's it's music made, I guess, kind of for toddlers and, and infants, and it's Def Leppard music reworked to that effect. What, what can you tell us about Rock the Cradle? Well, I mean, we're always very flattered when somebody wants to cover our songs, you know, but this was an unusual request. Um, now, it, it came to me via a friend of mine, uh, Tor Himes, who's a producer of the project, and, and um, I've known Tor for many years because his daughter and my daughter went to kindergarten together, and Tor actually produced my blues record that I put out about six years ago. So Tor called me at home and said, hey, I'm doing this Def Leppard lullaby record, and uh, he said, you know, would you be interested in playing some for me? So I... As a friend, I mean, that that was my involvement. So I said, sure. I went around to his studio, and that was the first time I, I heard the tracks. And they are very, very different, um, which you would expect and you would hope. I mean, if you try and put your kid to sleep to Def Leppard music, you're going to have a, a hard time because, you know, we are not exactly subtle. Um, mm-hmm. These arrangements are obviously very, very dramatically different, very organic, um, not big, loud, hairy guitars or big smashing drums. Um, they're obviously all instrumental. So I, I brought my my quiet cam. <laughs> I put my quiet guitar on. I just put some little little, uh, hopefully not too obtrusive um, embellishments on the tracks on the th- the three songs that I played on. And then it was only afterwards when Tor was walking me out to my car that he he happened to mention that Phil Collin was also on the record, which was a total surprise to me. I have no idea how Phil got involved in it, but I say like my involvement in it uh, came through my personal relationship with the producer. So. What's, you go. What songs on this project did you play on? Uh, I played on um, Photograph, Animal, and uh, Stand Up, which is a uh, stand up with a beautiful song from the Adrenalize record that not a lot of people maybe would have heard. Um, it was a really great, great song. But So those were the three that I played on. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a great testament to the songs that they can be rearranged in, in a certain way and just sound so different, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, Animal is one of the few songs that I did sample and listen to. And when I first heard about this, I thought, you know, I just couldn't really even imagine what it would be, you know, to be uh, rewritten for toddlers uh, and, and infants and whatnot. And uh, I, I, I listened to it. And, you know, I actually kind of in, enjoyed it myself. I mean, it, it's relaxing. I could almost hear that in the background of anything. It's relaxing and yeah, good music. Yeah, it, yeah like I say, it, it's interesting. It, it sounds nothing like, like the way that we play it, you know, which is just as well for your kids, sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we're starting them young. Well, one thing people should know is because of the guitar work that's done, it's 
tasty guitar work as well, and it's, and it's, it's tastefully done, and it's rather relaxing, quite frankly. I think if someone's stressed out at the end of the day, they might just put Rock the Cradle on and, and you know. So, you know. But, you know, as a guitar player, you got to approach everything a little bit different. You know, you got to bring whatever tools the job requires. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I am a big blues fan. Like I, like I mentioned earlier, I did a blues record with Tor, with the same producer. So, you know, I just kind of brought more of my bluesy chops to it, you know, and mm-hmm. um, rolled the tone down on the guitar and played on the front pickup and, well, you know, try and try and make it uh, make it fit. Yeah, well, it's an unusual project, but it turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah. Congratulations also on your Celebrity Apprentice uh, appearance we've seen the other night. Uh, what? How cool was that? The whole world was watching. Uh, the things you do to sell records. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our performance was, was, was pretty good. We were happy enough with, with that. Um, but it was the whole thing was pretty bizarre, you know. Mm-hmm. I gotta say. Well, um, it's television. But that's television. Yeah, and you know, we 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 appreciate the opportunity to uh, to remind people that we're still out there and that we're going to tour this summer and that we got a record and all that stuff, you know. But yeah. um, it is what it is. We've done a, a bit of television this last couple of weeks. We did the Leno show. The mm-hmm. week before, and, and George Lopez's show also. So we've been kind of gearing up and mm-hmm. getting busy. Well, that's A-list coverage, and that's good for business. Hey, uh, mm-hmm. new album. Tell us about it. Um, the new album is it's called Mirrorball. It's actually a live album. It's the first live album in the band's 30-plus years together. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a double-disc live thingy with three new studio cuts and... Uh, some DVD footage. There's, I think, there's four performances from the last tour on DVD, and the rest of the DVD is just made up of us goofing off backstage and on the bus, mm-hmm. life on the road with Def Leppard. Um, so that was that. It's taken us, like I say, a long, long time to do a live record, but finally we got around to it. So uh, it's probably just as well we, we waited because um, I, I really think that the band is, is playing better than ever these last few years, and you know, and and you would. You would think so, you know, after mm-hmm. 30 years that we'd have it done. But, you know, we've, we've, uh, we're pretty well oiled machine, so it was, it was about time we captured it. Where was it, uh, uh, recorded? Because Frontiers Records is the label, uh, and they, uh, put out, uh, uh, Whitesnake just put one out called Live at Donington. Where was yours recorded? Well, that's a, the beauty of it was it wasn't recorded at any one specific place. I mean, uh, the, part of the problem in the past with doing, uh, live recordings was they, they were very expensive and very cumbersome you had to have a mobile truck and you can only record because of the expense of it you can only do it over maybe one or two shows so and then that creates a lot of performance anxiety because you're going on stage thinking okay we're recording this live tonight better not screw up this better be good you know we with the technology being cheap and cheerful like it is now we just decided to record every single show so we recorded this over the course of not one but two american tours and we just roll every night. And so consequently, we we didn't even remember we were being recorded, so there was none of that performance anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, and it also allowed us to cherry-pick the best performances. So like, if we remembered that, that photograph was great in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, then that's the performance we took, you know? And then we took Love Bites from Dallas or wherever, you know? I mean, mm-hmm. wherever the, 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 the best recording was, was the ones we took. How, how many years have you been in Def Leppard now? It's been close to 20. In Def Leppard? In Def Leppard, yeah. I, I, I am the Ronnie Wood of Def Leppard, going on 20 years. Wow, time flies. I've lost track of time. You began at a very young age with Dio. Yeah. Well, how great of an experience was that right out starting it? Well, how, how young was you? Uh, I was 19 when I auditioned for, for Dio, and I was 20 by the time we went on the road with the first album. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was pretty weird because Ronnie was so much older than me, and it was really like being in a band with your dad, right? You know, <laughs> and or kind of like in in my case with Ronnie, it was more like being in a band with your stepdad, you know, because we really had a very strained relationship. I mean, we didn't have a lot in common mm-hmm. other than the music. Right. Um, in fact, I think we had nothing in common other than the music, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm sure it was as awkward for him as it was for me. But you know, musically, it was great. I mean, the first incarnation of the Dio band was hands down the best. Um, and the, the first two records in particular were, were really, really strong, and, and there was a great vibe in the band for those two records, and then after that, something happened, you know, mm-hmm. and um, 
I don't know why a lot of people to this day still think that I left Deal. Mm -hmm. I turned my back on the band, but that's absolutely not true. He, he fired me halfway through the, the Secret Heart tour, which was our third album and a third tour. And, um, you know, I never wanted to leave the band, but, but obviously Ronnie had a different idea, and I actually never spoke to him since then. So, you know, it had been 25 years or something mm -hmm. since I had last seen him or spoken. Then later on, you went to White Snake, and I seen you actually perform with White Snake. What a lineup that was! And then now with Def Leppard, you've had a, a great career. Are you going to get the chance? I guess I should say to to uh, perform in any of the the Ronnie James Dio memorial type albums that are coming out. No, no, and I'm not so sure I want to. You know, yeah. um, not that I've been asked, but I mean, e even even if I wanted to. I mean, I'm certainly not available to him. I had to go on a major tour with Def Leppard. Mm -hmm. I've also been playing with Thin Lizzy this year. When I'm not playing with, with Leppard, I'm playing with Lizzy. So it's a pretty busy schedule. And as far as doing the a, a Dio kind of thing, I mean, I, I, I would only be interested in playing with the original guys. Right. You know, Vinnie Apsey on drums and Jimmy Bean on bass. Mm -hmm. Claude Schnell on keyboards, you know. Uh, and then I, I can't imagine who would sing it, but it need to be a hell of a singer, because, I mean, Ronnie was definitely the best of the genre. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't imagine there's too many guys can, can sing like that. Absolutely. Thanks so much for uh, taking time out for us here at Inside Heaven. Tell us about this unusual but very good uh, project, Rock the Cradle, and the new live album with Def Leppard. Anything from the studio coming anytime soon? Uh, yeah, actually, we... Um we already have a couple of songs in the works for, for, for a new studio album from Leopard, and we're, we're definitely hoping to get that out by 2012 mm -hmm. and to continue touring uh, next summer as well as this. So. Okay. That's our plan. Fantastic. Well, onward and upward. Good luck and be careful on the road and have a safe flight tomorrow. Thank you, Evan. Cheers. Make sure you watch the stores for Rock the Cradle Dreaming with Def Leopard. Def Leppard music reworked for your children. It sounds fantastic. And especially watch for the live Def Leppard album coming out on Frontiers Records this summer. You can get a great deal on it at heavymetalfreak.com. My thanks to guitar great Vivian Campbell for taking time out for us here at Inside Heavy and to all of you listening. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Take care.